What does Cincinnati do here? We'll get to Jim Leonard in, in a little bit. That's a that's also all of a sudden is he? I don't know. That's a pretty uh, hot, much coveted defensive coordinator, or maybe he does want to be a head coach. Um, what what does Cincinnati do with uh, with Fickle on the way out? Urban Meyer. Get out of town. Let's go. I mean, he gets to stay in Ohio. His son is already on Cincinnati's staff. <laughs> I want to just completely laugh it off, but oh no, no, no. I can't. I can't. Oh, let's do it. Let's get Cincinnati it, it would, fans. It would, be, it would be splashy. Oh, oh. <laughs> that would be incredible. I mean, I just, would he do that though? Would he, I mean, like Ohio State could be open. We talked about it. Like, um, <laughs> uh, wow. I don't, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's Urban Meyer or bust. If Cincinnati doesn't hire Urban Meyer, it's, it's a, a failure. failure. <laughs> <laughs> Urban in the big 12. Urban recruiting the state of Texas, which he did. Mm -hmm. Urban going to play in Orlando in road games against Big 12 foe UCF. Mm. That would be, I don't think that's going to happen, but it is crazy that I can't completely rule it out. I, I don't know if, if not Urban, I mean, what, what, what is Cincinnati? It's an attractive gig. It's oh, going to be moving to the Power Five. I got one for you. What apparel does Sensi wear? Is it Under, Under Armour? Armour? Dion? Dion Sanders. It's a Power Five job. I think it's a better job than Colorado until I'm proven otherwise with Colorado spending and, and transfer uh, you know, stuff. I could see Dion doing well at, at, at Cincinnati. I agree. It's uh, it. By the way, Cincinnati is kind of the South to me. I don't know how, like, how you guys feel about this Tom yeah, Urban Western. Kentucky. But <laughs> yeah, it, it's basically like so you can recruit the South from Cincinnati if you need to. I mean, I saw some commenters mention Brian Hartline because like the Ohio oh, State yeah, just good. clearly worked out for them. But I just wonder, like, money wise, it's like, I mean, how much is Cincinnati going to pay him? Can Ohio State kind of compete? Because he is pretty important to what the Buckeyes do. Pickle was making five million a year. I mean, like, there's no way that that they Ohio can pay State him that much. Yeah, but that. just it's if you're Heartline, though, do you want to leave Ohio State for that? I th if he wants to be a head coach, I think that's a very good option to consider for sure because we know his recruiting chops and we've seen what he's been able to do with developing these receivers because we talk about it. Like, it's he gets plenty of talented players and that's great, but we've seen a whole lot of talented receivers go to places and not really amount to anything. The hit rate that he has on these guys is exceptionally high. So I feel like that's a good sign, both for his recruiting acumen and his coaching skill. By the way, Cincinnati uh, is not getting much buyout money from this. Have you seen this? Mm -mm. No. Fickle, uh, this is per an athletic article. Fickle's buyout, should he choose to leave for another job, begins at $3.5 million if he leaves before January 1st, 2023. Like, that is exceptionally that's cheap. cheap. And should have been a tell that... Uh, that like clearly, like Fickle was not going to stay at Cincinnati long term. Tom Herman, like do we we've got kind of like sure, all, all the that. names of uh, these these other coaches that ha are not in uh, coaching right now who could step in in the a moment a moment's notice and be able to take over right away. Try to start assembling the staff. Try to do whatever they can to keep that early signing class together because we haven't seen you know Matt Rule was one of them, but. We haven't seen, you know, a Tom Herman. We haven't seen a, a Kevin Sumlin. We haven't seen one of those other names really uh, surface yet at some, one of those jobs. What's Herman's relationships like with Texas high schools? I think it's fine with with, with a lot good. of them. Yeah, I was going to say because that could guy. be that could be nice just to have. He's obviously from his time at Ohio State. He's familiar with Ohio. You get him to te in the Big Twelve. He's familiar with Texas because of his time at Texas. And his name's been popping up at a lot of jobs, so it's clear that he wants to get back in the game. So that's somebody I think you should keep an eye on to consider, yes. Also, um, what was the deal with Carmelo Anthony where like he was born in New York but really raised in Baltimore, but when he went to the Knicks, it was like, oh, I'm coming home? Because Tom Herman was born in Cincinnati but moved to California at the age of six. Mm -hmm. So he was really like raised in California 
but then you could at least say like, oh, it's so great to, you know, come come home to Cincinnati. He's got that chili in his blood. <laughs> you can't ever get that chili out of your blood. Or um, your shirt. <laughs> I feel I, I don't feel bad, but you know, we're setting the bar at Urban Meyer and Deion Sanders. Yeah. Watch them come out back. We're promoting internally. <laughs> might might happen, but I mean it's it's an it's an attractive job. Yeah, like that that's a job that is clear it will pay. Um I mean what's a better job? Cincinnati or Texas Tech? Cincinnati or West Virginia? Cincinnati or Tommy Tuberville would definitely say Cincinnati over well, Texas. Right. Tech. <laughs> I mean, like literally, yeah. So I think it's a quality job. Um I would rather have Cincinnati than Colorado right now. Yes, for sure. Especially with, with the uncertainty uh, surrounding the Pac-12. I would rather have Cincinnati than Stanford. I would rather have – I mean, it's it's a good job. Uh, can they place Bill O'Brien here? No. If I'm a Cincinnati fan, I'm so mad if Bill O'Brien gets rehomed. It... He's going to get rehomed somewhere. FAU. There you go. Bang. <laughs> um, would you take Butch Jones back? Hmm. I don't know how Cincinnati fans felt about that. I don't know. Okay, because like they've been absolutely terrible, but uh, also Arkansas State seems like it's kind of a mess. Also, the Butch Jones experience was so short. Yeah. Would you? T um, he came in off Brian Kelly's coattails. Mm -hmm. It was like splash, splash, Tennessee. I don't think. That's true. Yeah, I don't think he left enough of an impact. Brian Kelly back to Cincinnati. <laughs> they're no, they're going to run him out of Baton Rouge after losing to a and uh, Late, latest conspiracy that I loved was uh, was LSU laid down for Texas A&M to keep Jimbo around. 